hello and welcome to another Warframe video. Today, I will be sharing my build for Frost. But before anything else, I would just like to say that all the stuff that I'll be sharing here are based from my experience playing Frost. This build video is purely based on my opinion and what I think to be the best build for Frost which suits my playstyle. Which is why I suggest that you shouldn't follow my build blindly as it may not suit your playstyle. Instead, use this video as a reference in creating your own build on how you want to play Frost. Ok, let's begin this video. Before I begin sharing my build, let's try to discuss first each ability of Frost so we can understand this Warframe much better. His first ability is called Freeze. This basically gives Frost the ability to freeze an enemy and deal damage to it at the same time. Now, this ability works well with his third and fourth ability. When you cast Freeze on your snow globe, the globe will explode and enemies that caught in the blast will be damaged and ragdolled. While casting Freeze on a target frozen by avalanche will extend the armor reduction and freeze duration. The effects will expire when Freeze ends or when Freeze's health threshold is reached. Now let's move to his second ability, the Ice Wave. When cast, Frost sends wave of ice shards that inflicts cold damage with a 100% status chance to all targets in its area of effect. This is one of the ability that I mainly use for CC when using Frost. I'm using the Ice Wave Impedance Augment on my build which lets our Ice Wave ability to leave frozen trails for 12 seconds, that will slow down enemies come into contact with it. I will not discuss this much further as I'll be discussing this part when I will show you my build. For now, let's proceed to Frost's third ability, the Snow Globe. When Frost cast his third ability, he creates a protective globe of ice which protects you and your allies from outside attacks and any incoming projectiles. The health of the globe is affected by power strength and armor mods and, upon activation, the globe will be invulnerable for 4 seconds at max level. The incoming damage that is absorbed during the invulnerability period is converted into health and added to the globe's health. Snow globe can be recast multiple times but there are restrictions on the number of globes that can be created in the environment. A maximum of four separate snow globes can be cast at any given time. Casting snow globe after reaching the maximum will remove the oldest globe. Casting snow globe while inside an existing globe will remove the older globe and combine the total remaining health values of both globes for the newer one. The invulnerability period is reactivated for each cast, Lastly, snow globes created inside existing globes do not count toward the maximum number of instances, and snow globes health can stack with repeated casts until reaching a maximum combined health of 1 million. Also, the snow globe can freeze enemies within its radius for a couple of seconds while violently pushing them outwards. If the enemies hit obstacles, they can be dealt as much as 50% of their maximum health as finisher damage. Lastly, enemies that enter the globe will have their attack, movement speed reduced. Now let's talk about Frost's final ability, the Avalanche. Upon casting, Frost freezes enemies over a couple of seconds, which is affected by power duration, within a radius which is affected by power range. Aside from the damage and the ability to CC enemies, it also has a unique feature which reduce the armor of enemies to a certain degree, depending on how much power strength you put on your frost. The armor reduction is applied after one second of the casting animation has passed. It may be a good feature but the thing is, you need at least 250% power strength to totally strip enemy armors which will certainly affect your efficiency and based from my experience playing this Warframe, low efficiency means death for Frost. After taking a look at all the abilities of Frost, there are a couple of builds that you can actually create for this Warframe. One is the Snow Glow build which focuses mainly on his third ability. 
I know many of you will consider getting lots of power strength and armor mods so that your snow globe will have tons of health like what I did here but the thing is, I have some bad experience with a snow globe only build. And, I don't usually like the idea of relying on one ability alone as it kinda boring and I want to use frost into his full potential. Make him a great CC Warframe. Which is why instead of a snow globe exclusive build, I come up with this build. It's a balanced build which takes advantage of frost ice wave, snow globe and avalanche abilities. This build is perfect for my playstyle as it offers me complete control over the enemies in different ways. I have the snow globe's ability to protect myself and my allies from outside projectiles and, I also have Ice Wave with its amazing augment to so enemies that are outside my globe. If that's not enough, I can also CC a bunch of enemies close to my snow globe or, those who are rushing towards me. It's really the ultimate defensive setup for me as Frost, and I really love this build. Fleeting Expertise is a personal preference mod by the way, and you can replace it with Streamaline. Also, you can add an extra former for this build and replace Orga Message with Constitution. The last build I will show you is an armor stripping build but I don't usually use it as I don't like the range and the duration. But, just to show you how armor stripping frost is done, then here's the build. Now, I have tried a couple of variation like adding energy conversion instead of blind rage, or even going with growing power and intensify, and tinker it even more to get the 250% power strength but, I just can't seem to get blind rage off this build. But the build is pretty decent nonetheless, it's somehow an interesting build in team plays and you can improve this build that I've created to make it even better. Just take note that you need at least 250% power strength in your build to totally strip enemy armors. Overall, Frost is a pretty fun Warframe to play with if you know his kit. And, I hope that the builds, and the information in general that I've shared here about Frost will help you create your own build that suits your playing style. Now, I don't suggest that my builds are the best, but I definitely recommend that you try it for yourself, especially if you're that kind of guy who likes to actively press their ability button and not just rely on one skill alone. However, again, I would remind you all not to follow my build blindly as these builds suit my playstyle and, it may not suit yours. Refer to it as a guide and not a bible. So that's it. Hope that you guys find this video informative. Before you leave, please do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoy watching this video. Also, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the big red subscribe button if you want to see more Warframe videos from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching. And see you on my next video.